The following marketing information and discussion is provided for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as professional guidance or consultancy. You should find an agency for that. Comexis is a digital marketing agency, so feel free to hire us. But otherwise, just enjoy the show. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Buyer's Journey by Comexis, a discussion-based podcast on the ever-changing marketing landscape that affects how your customers and clients purchase, ultimately optimizing your marketing efforts. I'm Matthew McGordy, the social media content producer at Comexis. I am Len Moore, the managing partner at Comexis. And I'm Josh Lyons, the digital marketing coordinator here at Comexis. It is Tuesday, and on Tuesdays, we talk about the consideration phase of the buyer's journey. For those of you who need a refresher, the consideration stage is when somebody is already aware of a problem they have, or they are aware of your brand, your product, your service, and they are actively going out and looking either for your product, service, brand, et cetera, specifications of that, or they're searching for the solution to whatever problem they became aware of in the awareness stage of the buyer's journey. And when we talk about e-commerce or basically any product you can buy, uh, we inevitably end up talking about Amazon because Amazon is where people go more so than Google to find actual products uh, for things. So today we are talking about a piece on Search Engine Land by Greg Sterling. Amazon is going to be rolling out video ads on their mobile searches. So for those of you who aren't aware, if you open up your Amazon app, which I'm sure you probably have on your phone, and you make a search on Amazon, there's a little normally a static image that will appear beneath the search bar that will advertise something. So for example, when I went uh, and I did a test to try and see if there was any video ads on there, um, I got a couple Sony advertisements for different things, TVs, etc. cetera. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to find any video ads, uh, and neither was Greg Sterling. Um, so just something to keep in mind, this might potentially be a slow rollout. Um, one important thing to notice is that there's a rumor that there will be a minimum $35,000 ad budget. Uh, this is from a Bloomberg report quoting an unnamed person familiar with the matter. Um, the $35,000 ad budget will run the spots at five cents per view to run the ads for 60 days, one person said. Prices can vary by category and not everyone pays a fixed rate, said another person. So what do we think about this, guys? Uh, well, Amazon, if I'm correct, is the third largest advertiser in the world now. Certainly are. So I think this whole is playing. I mean, Amazon is clearly going to become a major player in the e-com, you know, um, I guess you could say, you know, product search marketplace. I, I think this is just, it's come to the spot where, you know, you maybe go to Google to do your research on things, and obviously you're going to see ads as you're doing that. This is just a why not monetize on people are spending seven to ten minutes a day on Amazon looking at stuff. Why not throw ads up there? You know, I know that they're already running a bunch of different types of ads right now. No, I just checked my phone. I, I tried like three or four different searches, so I, I guess it is rolling out slowly. I haven't been able to see it yet. But it's just this is just a logical and next step progression for Amazon. And they're pulling more and more money away from Google in regards to the e-com space, especially for a very competitive uh, ad dollar there. So it's interesting to see. It's not surprising on Amazon. I wouldn't be surprised if you see other products roll out with Amazon like this. But this isn't shocking. This is just progression uh, for them really, really making a major move in the ad world. It's, a, it's, it's, it's stunning to think that if they at some point are able to figure out a way to make more money off the ads <laughs> than they are the products they're selling, I mean, this guy, I mean, he's just a genius. Yeah. You know, I mean, you can't, you can knock, you can say whatever you want to say about this guy, but he's created a monster. And again, if I'm Google, this is a problem. This is a big problem. You know, again, we, it comes back to the, the uh, podcast we had last week where we were talking about Instagram and now you can purchase within, right within Instagram and never even leave the frame of Instagram. Obviously, Facebook's going to follow right behind this. You know, and it's got to, to the point where you got to wonder is Google, are they going to fight back from an e-com standpoint? Are they going to figure out their own platform? Are they going to buy eBay? Um, some, you know, maybe to kind of go with this, I don't know if that from an antitrust uh, perspective that would happen, you know, but it's just, it's interesting because it's got to the point where it's just a matter of not if, but when most e-com companies just basically abandon Google altogether. Cause why are you even on Google? Unless it's a product that Amazon's not currently taking right now for you to be on sale for. But I really can't remember the last time I went to Google to search for a product that I can easily get on Amazon. 
you know, so it's just a progression. So, but, you know, if you are uh, in the space, if you're an e-com, you have to start looking at Amazon to start uh, putting your ad dollars in, especially in the consideration phase, because if they're on Amazon, they're already looking for products, they're already in a consideration phase. So this would be the logical step for an e-com company to be throwing dollars at. Absolutely. And Josh, before the podcast started, you brought up a really good point about video ads sort of taking attention away from a searcher. Yeah. So we actually talked about this on a previous podcast. I forget how long ago it was. Um, I'll mention it in the blog description. Yeah, I'm able to find it. But it, it was it was talking about how when you Googled on when you did a Google search on mobile, um, there would be the bigger the, the, the bigger image yeah. thumbnails. Okay. And one of my examples was that how if you you could be ranked higher. Um, but not have a thumbnail, and and there's more likely than not that the consumer might click on your competitor that's below you because they have the thumbnail there. Yeah. So okay. the same idea works now with these videos where if you're going and searching for like a soccer ball and y you see a video ad pop up from a competitor selling their version of a soccer ball, you might then be, you might, your eyes will get fixated on the video, you'll watch the video, you might completely change your mind and go to the competitor's product or brand because they saw the video. So it sort of, it sort of plays on both ends where the, on the first example it was just an image and how the image could pop, but now the videos do, like everyone wants to watch a video. And you actually brought up a really great point. The images are from the website that you're already hosting and on. So as long as, and we, we guessed it was image alt tags, that that's where they're pulling yeah. that information from, right? Uh, for Amazon, you have to pay for these ads and you need to have a, a potentially minimum <laughs> $35,000 budget. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Also, um, a slight difference too is that these ads will appear the first thing people see in a search on Amazon. Yeah. So it's you, you might get blown out of the water before the, the search even begins, basically, right? Um, and people are able to look through products, so. I'm, I'm gonna try and do a an example. Because I did because I did go immediately on the mm -hmm. app and I saw the first thing that popped up was an ad for um, one of the Amazon Prime like movie uh, movies or TV series. Mm -hmm. So that, that was them, I guess, utilizing the, the ad space. Yeah. But it made me think, like it's for Jack Ryan and Hannah, which is like two prime like original videos, mm -hmm. right? But now I wonder if, what happens if instead of it being the picture, it's, a, it's, a, it's, an, it's an instant video. We'll, we'll do a search, do any search. And you'll see, you'll see where it's gonna get placed. Yeah, like right up here. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But, my, but my, what I was trying to say is like, imagine if, not not even before you even search anything. The first thing that just pops from up page you get from from page yeah, is you pop possible. up, and it's not just a still picture. It's actually mm -hmm. like the a trailer of a TV series coming out. And as soon as you see that, I mean, mm -hmm. at least the way I work is if I see something running already, I'll Ooh, just shiny. press the I'll yeah. press the unmute button and see what it's about. <laughs> <Okay>. But <laughs> you are not like most people, my friend. <laughs> well, it just depends if it's something that looks interesting or if it's something that's I'm getting targeted to. Then that's fine. But but when when you search for like I searched in for AirPods because I want a pair I want to spend a bunch of money on AirPods, um, but when that pops up and you do see the sponsored, you know, ad all the way at the top, it it makes me wonder like what happens if like Beats put an ad right above it, you know, talking about their wireless version of a headphone, and you can and they advertise on the video that not only is it the same type of quality or it's whatever quality they offer, but it's even cheaper than the $150 AirPods that I was about to go buy. So you have to, that's advertising in a nutshell. Yeah. So there's, you know, there, here's your old man on the hill speech. That's what advertisers goal is to get your eyes off of what you're looking at and over to the right hand right. side. So that's that's the true oldest, most fundamental way of, you know, if you are an automobile dealership in the 50s and you're sitting there, you know, and you're Mike's automobile dealership. Well, if you're driving down a highway, there's a reason Jenny's automobile dealership is putting a billboard right in front of Mike's dealership. They're trying to get you to go to Jenny's, which is just a mile down the road and you'll save 50 more dollars. So it's just, it's just accumulation of events. So yes, if we are a, 
if Beats comes to us and they want to run ads and all that, yes, I'm going to tr just hammer yeah. anything that has to do with headphones and we're going to go there because that is jumping in the consideration stage mm -hmm. and you are trying to force your conversation into their conversation they're having with an existing brand already. That's, that's when you're a good advertiser, you're able to do that and you've officially changed the conversation and now they're over to your side. And you got to hope it's not going to get happen to you, but it will because that's advertising. <laughs> <laughs> so one, 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 a couple final notes. Um, so there's a minimum, a minimum of thirty five thousand dollar ad budget at least to start. Um, what are your thoughts on that one? They're going after the people who will actually start spending the money. Yeah. You know, at thirty five thousand dollars, that that is a bit of a cost prohibitive number. Um, but they're going after the people who are beginning to pull the budget away from traditional TV and allocating it over there. So Beats, Sony. Apple, which Apple's pulling mostly all of everything off TV anymore. It's, you don't see a whole lot of Apple stuff on TV. That's where that budget's going for. It's going for those people to kind of start building a groundswell. And they're going to try to find out if it works because if the larger companies are using these metrics, these are the metrics you can then go sell to the person who could afford 15000 10000 and matriculates all the way down. There you go. There's also just one final thing I want to mention. Um, Amazon does not and has not in the past directly reported ad revenues in its earnings. Uh, normally they group that with the sort of other category, which is normally dominated by ad revenue. So just for reference, in quarter four 2018, Amazon reported $3.4 billion in other revenues, which means that its advertising business exceeded $10 billion in 2018. So just something something to keep in mind. Amazon, third biggest platform, gonna be pushing think, for, for one or two at some good. Point. Yeah, you think $10 billion? <laughs> I wish I had $10 billion. Um, well, that's all for today's episode of The Buyer's Journey. Check us out on Comexis.com, YouTube, and anywhere you get your podcasts. And please follow us on Twitter at Buyer's underscore Journey. Thank you for listening.